Hello everyone, my name is Charlene Gilbert. I'm the Dean of the College of Arts and Letters here at the University of Toledo. I am really excited about this day. This is one of my favorite days of the year when we get to celebrate our top students in each of the departments and for the college. Unfortunately, this year, as you know, we cannot celebrate together. We are all practicing social distancing, we are staying at home, and our efforts are really important to helping our country and our state and our region fight this really horrible disease. Um, and our work is paying off. It is getting better thanks to all that effort. So we can't be together. I can't shake your hands on the stage, but I can tell you how um, proud we are of you, how proud we are of the work that you have done as you've traveled this path to this day. Um, I'd like to thank the parents and family and friends who made it possible because I know each of our students were not able to do this without the support and love of their family and friends. Um, we can't be together, but we are doing this virtual ceremony. So the video you're about to see will um, include images of all the outstanding students for each department, the outstanding student for the college, the winners of the Dean's Essay Competition, the winner of the Dean's Leadership Award, and the winners of Latin Honors throughout the college. Again, I wish we were together, but in the absence of being together, I hope you will enjoy this video with um, wonderful images of our students. In addition, there's a virtual social wall where students would be able to post images of themselves with their medals, which were handmade by Professor Tom Lingeman uh, um, with an am amazing turnaround and much love. Um, I hope you hold those medals as precious as we do, and it is an honor that you will be wearing them. Um, uh, and I will be looking at your post, and I hope you will share that, that link with your family and friends near and far. Uh, lastly, I look forward to one day being able to be with all of you again when we uh, celebrate and find other op opportunities and ways to celebrate each and every one of you. Isabel Abu Absi's thesis, The House in Mulberry Street, Authoritarianism, Orientalism, and the Experience of Interior Spaces in Hisham Matars in the Country of Men, is a masterful study on the politics of domestic spaces in the novel. Isabel explores how Matar subverts dominant Orientalist imaginings of such spaces and instead reveals them to be profoundly liberating for the characters. Congratulations, Isabel! In her paper, Elizabeth Kanopka revisits the popular 1990 romantic comedy Pretty Woman starring Julia Roberts. Although some critics have asserted that Pretty Woman is an example of women's empowerment, Kanopka skillfully argues that by examining it through an intersectional feminist lens, the film ultimately disempowers the female protagonist and relegates her story to one among a long line of predictable and stereotypical plot lines. In Russell Axon's short story, The Last Farewell, the narrator, Annalyn, memorializes her last months with her grandmother, whose act of bravery later inspires Annalyn's own. Set in Manila during the Marcos years, the story is filled with richly drawn characters and excellent, exact detail.
Chen Gao is a senior in the Department of Art studying graphic and interactive design as part of the BFA program. She is currently developing graphic and photography projects based on observations of both American and Chinese cultural phenomena. After graduation, she will move to Michigan to pursue her MFA at the well-known Cranbrook Academy of Art. Benjamin Morse, the editor-in-chief of the U Toledo Collegian, will graduate as a double major in communication studies and political science. He is a graduate of the Washington Center and the Fund for American Studies, where he served as a congressional reporting intern on Capitol Hill for both programs. He will pursue a master's degree at the City University of New York this fall. Congratulations, Benjamin. Haley Dunlap will graduate in Disability Studies, magna cum laude, after exemplary service to the University of Toledo and the larger community. In all she does and has done, including leadership in the Toledo Transition Program, Levis Leadership UT, and Residential Life, she lives her commitment to equality and accessibility. Tyler Drung will graduate with a major in economics and a minor in business administration. Over his four years with us, he achieved a perfect 4.0 GPA, graduating summa cum laude. We look forward to Tyler returning to us and our department in the fall to earn his master's degree in economics. Tyrell Macbeth will graduate in English with a concentration in creative writing. The recipient of the Fern M. Comeback Award in Creative Writing, Tyrell plans to draft a collection of poetry in the next year while preparing applications for MFA programs. Eric Kostecki graduated in December of 2019 with a BA in Geography magna cum laude. Eric received the Dean's Long Essay Award in 2019 and participated in the 2018 Undergraduate Summer Research and Creative Activities Program. He is currently enrolled in the MA Geography Program here at the University of Toledo. Congratulations to Eric. Caitlin will graduate from the Department of History, magna cum laude. She has excelled in her research during her time here at U Toledo, achieving outstanding grades and presenting her work at the 2019 Phi Alpha Theta History Colloquium. Caitlin has been accepted to the graduate program in history at Purdue University this fall. Paige Chapman has been a vocal leader in the music department, performing seven leading operatic and musical theater roles, singing in the elite Chamber Singers Choir, and winning singing competitions in our region. She will attend Miami University of Ohio in the fall with a graduate assistantship, pursuing a master's degree in vocal performance. David Wethanen is graduating summa cum laude in philosophy with a minor in mathematics. His work is deeply impressive across a wide range of philosophical traditions. In addition to his outstanding work in philosophy, David also performed the College of Arts and Letters production of The Tempest and studied in Costa Rica, China, and Uruguay. Caitlin Fian will graduate magna cum laude with a double major in religious studies and history. This coming year, she will continue to work as volunteer program assistant at the Toledo Zoo, and she will begin a fully funded master's program in history at Purdue University in fall 2021. Bette McGowan conducted original research on public opinion on water quality in Lake Erie, received numerous scholarships and awards, including research assistantships and deans or presidents list every semester, and will graduate summa cum laude with college and departmental honors. This fall, she will enter the Vermont Law School to specialize in environmental law and justice. Reagan Cup a research assistant in both clinical and experimental laboratories in the psychology department, will graduate magna cum laude in psychology. She has already presented independent research at the Society for Personality and Social Psychology National Conference. Reagan will be joining the University of Toledo Clinical Psychology Doctoral Program this fall. Jordan Dion is graduating summa cum laude with a major in anthropology and a minor in biology. In addition to his academic excellence in anthropology, he is well-read and conversant about a variety of fields. 
Jordan plans to seek a job or internship after graduation where he can use his communication skills and creativity. Jessica Hardy is graduating cum laude, majoring in sociology. She impressed her professors and fellow students with her intellect, open-mindedness, and her interpersonal skills as she eloquently advocated for a more just and sustainable society. Jessica plans to pursue her graduate studies at the University of Toledo. Jarrett Cunningham will graduate in film, magna cum laude. He has been both an outstanding student and an outstanding citizen while in the department. Jarrett is a 21st century renaissance man with interests and talents in art, design, film, music, and engineering. He will pursue a career in media arts following graduation. Morgan Cunningham will graduate summa cum laude after serving on several of the Department of Theater and Film's theatrical productions, including as the assistant lighting designer on the flick in 2020. Morgan has consistently been a student leader who models a positive and valuable approach to all aspects of the department. Jocelyn Grohl will graduate summa cum laude with dual degrees in Women's and Gender Studies and Law and Social Thought. Josie has been an enthusiastic presenter in the Women's Studies Student Research Showcase, a participant in the Inside Out Prison Exchange Program, and an intern at Capital Care Network and the Ohio Civil Rights Commission. She has accepted a full tuition scholarship to study human rights law at the Ohio State University College of Law. Congratulations, Josie. Lydia Rich is a German major and a Japanese minor who is graduating summa cum laude. She's the president of the German club and a member of the German honor society Delta Phi Alpha. She eventually plans to pursue a job as a librarian after hopefully returning to Germany for further study and travel. The College of Arts and Letters Outstanding Student Award honors the overall outstanding student in the college. This year, the award goes to Jocelyn Grohl from the Department of Women's and Gender Studies. With her 3.987 GPA, an impressive list of accomplishments, and her plans to study law with a full scholarship at Ohio State next year, Jocelyn represents excellence in the college. Congratulations, Jocelyn. We can't wait to see what you do next. Madison Lawson has been dedicated to improving U Toledo since she arrived. Her accomplishments include serving as Vice President of Student Government, working as an advocate in the Dean of Students Office, and her instrumental role in multiple campaigns for the greater good, from introducing biodegradable straws across campus to helping to establish the recent COVID-19 grading options. Thank you, Maddie.
So at this point in the, the ceremony, usually this is where I give a speech and where I'm supposed to send you off with some um, words of wisdom. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't really feel like this is the moment to do that and some of you will be relieved. Oh, thank God we don't have to listen to a speech. <laughs> but what I will tell you are the simple words that I tell each and every person uh, in this moment we're living in. Simply stay safe, be well, be healthy. Um, this moment is a moment that we will get through and this too shall pass 
And I know that when it does, each of you will be ready. You will be ready with your intellectual skills, your social skills, your communication skills, your leadership skills. And your nation, this country, this state, this region, this city will need your skills. They will need your leadership. They will need your contributions to help us continue to build our future. So for now, good luck, be well, and go Rockets.